Hello, everyone. I'm only gonna be here for around an hour or so tonight, but we're here to begin our quest on Link's Awakening. Hello, I'm here. We are here. We're going to have a very interesting adventure considering I've never actually played Link's Awakening. This is one of the few Zelda games along this Zelda-thon that I've never even played before. And I'm planning on trying to 100% it. Now, this is one of the few times in this Zelda-thon series where I might not end up doing that because I want to have an actually authentic experience. I've played all the other Zelda games before, not always 100% of them, so it's still an authentic experience for me to just look stuff up in those games. I already know most of that. But in this one, I, I don't know most things. I don't know almost anything. So, I know a little bit about the story. I know, like, the ending and stuff, because it's... I'm a big Zelda nerd. You can't avoid Link's Awakening. It's got a really unique story for the Zelda franchise. Point being, we are going to play pretty much blind. I'm going to try to do as much as I can and get all the stuff I can, but we're, j we're just going to go in, you know? Uh, this is going to be a bit unique, especially because everybody's playing the remake. Uh, if you can see in the top left corner, I have a Switch and Tears of the Kingdom fun going. The reason? I don't have a Switch. Nor do I have the remake. So that's not an option for me. Not to mention I've never played the original. So I figured I'll play the original first. All of that said, it is time to begin our journey. So, let's do that. Let me uh, make sure everything is still... Oh, I, I messed it up. There you go. Sorry about that. I made it too big on my side. I see. Okay. Let me fix this. Sorry about that. I didn't expect this to do that. Oh, there we go. Now just scoot your butt back over. There we go. Perfect. Can I make it even bigger? How big can I make this thing? Without being a problem. That's my question. Yeah, there's a reason we haven't switched it to playing the game just yet on screen, guys. And uh, that reason is very clearly because uh, we're not playing the game just yet. We're still setting up a little bit. But we're at the point where, you know, I can talk to you guys. We're here. We're, we're physically hello here. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I said hello, but you know. Uh, okay, that's still the same size, actually. Interesting. I guess that's as big as it's going to get for us. This is a good playable size for me. Um, I probably should have done this before the stream, but since I figured... We're running low on time anyway, and I wanted to get started. I do need to very quickly set my controls on here. So, we are playing not any of these. What? We're on the color, not the anything. The color doesn't have controlling settings? Can I use a controller? I know that's not super normal, but... Where's my controller? Here it is. Alright. Allow input. Boom. When focus is lost, allow input? Oh. You know, the controller doesn't work on here. I didn't think it would. I mean, it's a Game Boy emulator. Alright. Reset. Uh, no. No, I don't want to do that. Stop it. Alright, come on. Oh, did I just press this one? Alright, let me try this again. Alright, I can totally use this controller. Alright, reset all inputs. Should be fine. Will it work? 
Yep, we're good to play. Alrighty. Let's do this! Time to begin Link's Awakening. Alright. We're gonna be... Crimson. Or whatever amount of that'll fit, I guess. Last game we were Master because it was before the rebrand. Oh. Just Crim, I guess. We're Crim. Crim. Let's go! Could have been Noble, I guess. That would have been better. Oh well. I use Crim a lot for some reason. I guess because there's already YouTubers named Noble, but not YouTubers named Crim. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on co- <laughs> I'm sorry? Koholent? Is that what that says? Koholent Island. Okay. Hello, Malin. Or Marin. Sorry. Malin. Who's Malin? Um. Cat, please, stop. <laughs> I have cats that just like scratching at my door. Anyway, I do want to say quickly for anybody who doesn't already know, I do know that this game is supposedly a sequel to A Link to the Past, so very fitting that we play immediately after A Link to the Past. We're supposedly the same character. What are you doing in my chest? Where'd you learn to do such a thing? Oh, I can't just go through your stuff? Okay. Well, Krim, you finally snapped out of it. My name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. I got a shield, I guess. Cool. I got my shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. What's the button? Oh, one of the two buttons. Gotcha. This is so many more buttons on this Xbox controller than this game ever originally had. I just use these and the actual joystick and stuff. I know a lot of people are like, why aren't you using the D-pad? Because Xbox D-pads suck. Especially 360. It's like the worst part of this controller, and this controller is actually great if you ask me. Anyway. I should be able to read you guys' chat like really well this time, by the way. Because uh, the way I have this game recording, I can actually see myself and the chat and the stream and everything. Even though I've only got the one monitor, so, you know, perfect. It allows me to monitor a lot of things, you know? Make sure things are running. Matter of fact, let me quickly make sure that the stream and everything is going good. Yeah, I'm sure everything's running good. Game might be a little quiet, who knows. Just because we are alone here, I'm going to take a moment and find out the answer to that. The game could be a little louder. Oh wait, I'm quiet too, never mind. Why am I so quiet? How about now? A little bit better, yeah. I mean... You know what? This this is a comfortable place, I think. Let me turn off my volume. There we go. We're good. I just had to double check things, make sure we were all good. And it seems we are all good, so... Let's play the game. That's wild. What's happening? Oh, there it goes. Okay. All oh, right. We got cuckoos, but we can't interact with anything yet. There's a phone place. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Oneria. Ask me about the island if you get lost. Give me a call by click. Okay. I don't know what that accent was, by the way. That was a weird thing I just threw together. Uh, where did we even come from?
Hey man, when you want to save, just push all the buttons at once. Wait, what? That's how I saved this game? I guess it was a Game Boy game. It's been a long time since I've played a Game Boy game, to be honest. So I can't get over there till I get a sword. Oh, when's the last time I actually played a Zelda game for the first time? Breath of the Wild? Why have I never played Link's Awakening? It feels weird that this is a first. This series is going to make me introduced to a lot of games I probably love. Hello, old lady. Yahoo! Why'd she say Yahoo? I'm fine, and you? She's sprightly for an old lady, bro. Er, uh, hmm. How to say? Please call outside. It seems that old man Lyria is just shy guy in person. Oh, this is the guy who answered the phone. Okay. Uh, it's a chain chomp. I forgot that was in. I forgot there's some weird stuff in this game. Ho ho ho! My Bowo is so proud of his fine fur coat. Is this your Bowo? Yep, 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 yep! Yep, yep. <laughs> this isn't Avatar the Last Airbender. Why are we yipping? I'm yapping. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. <sighs> and new accessories would be nice. I have a feeling that's a side quest related thing that'll get me like a piece of heart or something. Which means I need to be wary of it. If I can get accessories, come back to that chain chomp or bow wow, I don't know. Whatever they're called. Hello, children playing ball. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last door you went through. I'm not really sure why that is because I'm just a kid. So kids are just giving me random information. If you press select, you can look at the island map, but I don't understand what they mean by that. That's hilarious. Oh, it's big. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> oh, no. This is not a chest. What? You knew that? Okay. Why does this Zelda game feel like it has more sass than every other Zelda game? You can see an island map by pressing- Okay, yeah. Is this just a tutorial area where it gives me a bunch of information? That's what it feels like. I didn't want to read this book. Please let me out. I don't want to read all those books. That sounds like it's a bad idea. Tail Cave, Toronto Shore. Did I say Toronto? I don't think that's right. I'm going to the- Okay, I shouldn't go to the cave when there's Octoroks over here, and I have literally not got a sword. The shore must be where I have to go, right? Nope, there's Octoroks here too, and now it's harder to get back. I'm just gonna keep going. Keep going. Pretend that it's fine. Ah, uh, oh yeah, it's getting worse. Just uh, pretend everything's okay, and keep running for it. Wait, I can go in the water? That's kind of wild. We're locked off from over here. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, you just push him out of the way with your shield! Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, I wasn't supposed to drop down originally. Or maybe I'm supposed to be down there? I don't know. I'm definitely supposed to be down there, I think. Oh. Ouch. I'm already at half-life because I like to walk into enemies in these games. Why do I always do that? Okay, to the right, and then push this guy out of the way, and then dang! How do I just know? <laughs> I've never played this game, I swear! Oh, shit, I just had to take a single step. Hoot hoot! So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting, starting to act violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot! Alrighty. The game begins now. Because we have a sword. It has your name engraved on it. Is that Krim? Link? Master? I don't know. This, there's so many versions of this character. All right, there we go. Now we have classic 2D Zelda combat, but in a very tiny sprite fashion. 
which is cool, honestly. Also, this is definitely the Master Sword, isn't it? Oh wait, no, because at the end of the last game, the Master Sword was laid to rest. There we go. Now we can do the things. Ouch. It's really weird that I have to actively use the shield in this game. That's different from like almost every... It's different from all the 2D Zeldas. Then again, I haven't played a lot of new 2D Zelda. I guess Link to the Past is like the only 2D Zelda I have a lot of history with. And I mean, I just did it again, so... <laughs> that history completed itself, I guess. I don't know why I'm just exploring. I mean, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. What do you mean? That's Zelda when you don't know anything. You just go around and figure it out. That's why this is being treated the way it is instead of the completionist playthrough like most that we would do during Zelda-thon. Alright, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just kind of going. This is a dungeon, isn't it? This looks like a dungeon. Keyhole? Tail keyhole? Yep, that's definitely a dungeon. I just found a dungeon early. Alright. I wonder if this is the type of Zelda game where you can go do dungeons in different orders as you want to. I hope so, because if so, this is like the first time I'll get to experience that besides Breath of the Wild. That's not true. I mean, my first playthroughs of the other games, like Link to the Past, I guess I experienced that. But I have very little memory of that, to be honest. Which is sad. Oh, wait. I can... I do. Piece of heart already. Oh, yeah. Okay, get up the stairs. I'm so happy that I have a Zelda brain. I think this is a good game to play right after Link to the Past for more than just lore reasons. Things like that are... Like, this game was immediately made right after Link to the Past. It's the next in development, so... Hoot hoot! Ho, brave lad! On your quest to wake the dreamer! Welcome to the mysterious wood! Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholent Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave? which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Oot. So that is gonna be the first dungeon. Gotcha, gotcha. I guess I'll get the key before I explore the rest of the village. Just cause I already know what to do here and I, if I walk away, I'm probably gonna forget. There's a chest over there, can I get there? This looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Okay, so I need an item. Gotta remember that there's a chest there one day. All oh, right, I'm just killing moblins. Ouch! Ouch! I actually really like the look of moblins in these early Zelda games. They only translate that way a couple times in the 3D ones. I'm not sure why. What is that? Um. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Okay, it's another item thing. Oh, <laughs> you're not going to be lost thanks to me. What does he mean? What? Is this the Lost Woods word or something? Well, no, because it's Koholan Island. There's not going to be a Lost Woods. Is that a Moblin soldier? soldier? That's weird. There's a little cave. Dude, this cat needs to stop pounding at my door like that. All right, we got, oh, I can just break these. Okay, cool. Can I open this? Oh, do I have to, I'm gonna have to get a thing to lift the rocks first. Damn. All right, leave those guys alone. Can I get to this one? Nope, it's heavy too. Dang. As soon as we get something to lift stuff, there's going to be a bunch of stuff that opens up in this game. As is usually the case in Zelda games. Oh. Well, now what? I'm stuck. Oh, it broke as I walked on it. What's happening? Why am I being destroyed by a single keys? Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't see that. Did I really just get my first game over? 
in a random cave that I don't even need to be in. That's funny. At least it was a very, like, easy game over. I just got back to life right there. Oh, this is the same place I started. Cat, stop, dude, please. Sorry for yelling. I'm so sorry. Habit. This cat just does this constantly, all day. It drives me nuts, actually. And I can't let her in or she's going to tear this sheet down. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. I didn't know this was a great fairy fountain. It looked kind of like it, but... Alright, I'm going to go north this time. Yes, I know. I'm not trying to lift it. Why does it say that every time I walk up to a rock? I didn't even press a button. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, it's the version of these guys. Okay. Stop. I'm not trying to lift it, game. Oh, right. What? Electric Chew? Gotcha. Crazy Tracy, Manbo's Pond? How am I supposed to go anywhere here, to be honest? Okay, I'm just gonna leave him alone. Oh wait, I found a thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm going in. Oh, it's a witch. Double, double, toil and trouble, a toads to a mix, mix powder for tricks. So what, I have to bring you mushrooms? Is that what you're telling me? Gotcha. Uh, where do I go now? I don't know, I don't really know where I am. Let's look at the map, right? We're in some woods, there's a shop there. Let's go to the left in the woods, because it looks like there's something far to the left we haven't seen yet. Come on, die. Thank you. Uh-oh. He almost cornered me there. I don't know how important rupees are going to be, but I'm going to collect as many as I can. I feel like that's going to get annoying. Looks like you can't do this with your bare hands. It looks like you can't do this one with your bare hands. Hey, sorry, man. It looks like you can't do this one with your bare hands. Okay, what? Die. No, stop! Dude. Okay. Thank you for at least providing me a heart back. You're good about that, at least. And not making me touch a rock. Oh, wait. There's a way up over here. Okay. Wait, this is... This is this spot. gonna be lost thanks to you oh it throws off my positioning and then I go back and that's how I I see the raccoon is throwing me around if I'd read that more clearly I'd have known that from the start probably all right clear this little area out chop down all the tree bush tree bush those are two different words, man. What does this say? Beware of floors with cracks. A heavy person should not stand on them. Yeah, I know. So this just takes us right back here. Dang it. Where do we go then? Like, actually. That's the fountain. And then up here is just going to lead to... Over here. And if I go down from the fountain, it takes me here? Oh, that's confusing. What? And then if I go back this way, I can't go up without doing something about that. I need, okay, I need mushrooms to get magic powder from the witch in the woods. And then I can use that magic powder on the on the raccoon, because the raccoon said something about powder, right? But where do I find a mushroom? Maybe I have to go back to town. Maybe I wasn't ready to come here after all. 
I thought it was just gonna be all exploring in town, but maybe there's something I actually missed here. Because there is a spot, like, over here. Yeah, I couldn't even get into this shop before. What's in here? Uh... Trendy gameplay! One play, ten rupees! Sure, I guess I'll play. The A and B buttons move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play. Good luck! Whoop, <laughs> I didn't know how the timing was gonna be, but okay. That's some awful timing. What? That's rigged. Bet you there's a piece of heart thing I have to get there, too. Dang. Well, that's not what I was looking for, at least. I found a secret seashell? If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Okay. Don't know what that is! But alright, I guess I'll keep cutting the grass, since I don't really know where to go at this particular moment in time. Oh, I didn't know I could cut the exterior grass. I was just hoping there was something there. What about in this shop? I don't even know what he's offering. What is this? No, I'm not trying to... I can just take it? No, I don't, I don't want to just take it. No, I'm not trying to kill the freaking. I know. I know the punishments for these things in these games, okay? What? I know I can't do it with my bare hands. I don't want to do it with my bare hands. Thank you. Okay. Family? Yep, those are my boys. I'm Pahal. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. He just knows he's gonna be lost? He, he planned this. Because they all look alike. Even I am sometimes confused by the way my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one of them at the Trendy Game, but I couldn't get it. Oh, I have to get him a Yoshi doll, okay. I can't even lift pots with my bare hands? What kind of Zelda game is this? Alright, whatever you say, game. Ooh, a windmill guy. The flying rooster. Oh, the, f the flying rooster from Link's Awakening. I mean, Link to the Past. This is Link's Awakening. Wait, that's Marin. Talk to me. Hi, Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools. But I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called the Ballad of the Windfish. That's the one. That's the one everybody knows. Even I, all the people who like Zelda know this song. Even if they've never played this game. For good reason, it's it's really, really good music. I mean, this is bit music and listen to it. Knowing what this game really is, plot-wise, it gives a lot more context behind everything I'm looking at that I kind of wish I didn't have. But you know what? Experiencing this for the first time is still going to be fun. It already is. Oh, she's just going to keep going. I thought it was going to end. Sorry, Marin. I, I'm not just going to sit around forever there. All right. So he went up into the forest to look for the toadstools, too. Okay, there's a fisherman here. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Okay, so we got two mini games that both cost 10 rupees. And something that cost 200 in that other shop that we were apparently able to steal from? I kind of want to try that, but I also have a feeling that's not going to end well. I guess we're going back up into the forest because I don't know where else we can go, except for maybe down on the shore.
When we were down on the shore, they just told us to come up here, though. It said he came up here looking for mushrooms, right? So yeah, I have to use that powder on him, but in order to do that, I'm gonna need... Wait a minute, I have an idea. Maybe after he says we're gonna be lost, we should turn around and go south. And he'll like, change where we go there too. And go somewhere that we've never been. Or maybe there's actually a way through this cave and I just don't realize it. What was that? You got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. What? What does that even do? I gotta be careful in here because of the floor and because these keys. Wait a minute, that's a pushable, not a pick upable, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so I have to go. This was what I had to do the whole time. I see. I just thought it was a pickup rock because there's so many of them. There we go. Never mind, that was money. But it might open up this path because I thought that the rest of this was locked off until we get the gauntlet. Yeah, this is definitely an area we can push things. Wait. Oh, no, it's the it's the skull that's heavy, not the rock. How do we get there, though? I think we have to pick up the skulls. I don't think there's a way we push in there. This is just to get through here, which leads to where we have to go. Okay. Got a toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. Uh, Link, what kind of mushroom did you just pick, bro? Uh, what kind of mushroom we got? Is it illegal? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there's definitely no way to just push through. How do I get back? I guess that'll work. Ouch. Alright. Well, we got what we need need. Why am I being dumb? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that again. All right, spawn, die. There we go, smarter. And go the right way this time instead of the wrong way because I went the wrong way last time for some reason. Now we just have to go back up to that like witch's house, right? Where was that? This way? No. I don't know what that fairy's gonna do for me when I have half a heart missing, so. I think she was up here. Yeah, she was definitely up here. My mustache is itchy. Ah. Wait, this isn't where she is, is it? This is... I feel like I went too far away. That or she's down here. Ouch. She might be down here. She was down here. She was. Double, double, toil and trouble. And toad still makes, makes powder for tricks. Okay. How do I give it to you? Uh... It's the toadstool you picked in the woods. Okay. Well, oh, come on. I didn't mean to do that twice. Ah! It has the sleepy toadstool. It does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. What was that? That was a bop! You've got some magic powder. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be magic powder. 
I'm sure it can do a lot more than what we need it to do, but let's go use it on that raccoon and fix things. Wait, this is an example of magic powder, isn't it? No, okay. How about this guy? Oh, yeah, it is actually. Just like in A Link to the Past. Hey, Mon. You can talk when you sprinkle him. That's great. I love that. What happens if I sprinkle powder on these guys? They burn? Unholy abominations, I guess. Wrong way. Gotta go left and then up. There we go. The music stop. Okay, ping pong ball man. Oh, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> the last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna accept that that happened. Okay, gotta switch back to the sewer here. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave door. Cool, we have the first dungeon unlocked. Who take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. Hoot. Didn't expect this to be how the story was delivered. I thought Marin would play a much more crucial role based on how much I know she's like loved from this game, basically. I mean, the Marin of Ocarina is also loved, but they're basically the same character, aren't they? Danger! Keep out! Except Bow Wow. Are Bow Wow water creatures in this? That's weird. I don't think I should go there yet. And then there's a phone. What does he got to say? Bring, bring, Olaria speaking. You know there's a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. He's insisting I go read in that library. I'm kind of concerned that it's needed, you know? That I'm missing something serious there. Also, it feels like everything is locked off until we go do that dungeon and get the thing to pick up rocks. So, let's go do that. This game's got some pretty straightforward progression. Maybe that are all Zelda games do, and it's just been forever since I played one like of my own will like this. Like, without any outside influence of any kind, like a walkthrough helping me be a completionist or something. Uh, it was down south, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was way south. Not this way, though. Like, yeah, left south. Yep, this way. This is the correct direction. I think this is right, right? I don't know. Ouch. That guy hurt. But that's okay. You just go around here. Boom. He goes down a hole. We go down this way. And here it is. First dungeon? I think this is the first dungeon. It definitely looks like a dungeon. Dungeon! Level 1, Tail Cave. Talk about fast. 40 minutes, first dungeon. I mean, you could be faster, but for a first playthrough, that's pretty good. Why did I come in here with half a heart? Or did those guys just do that much damage? I feel like Magic Powder could do something here, but... That was definitely what they wanted me to do. What I just did, I mean. Uh-oh. Uh oh. I hate the fires that shoot in these 2D games. Oh, it takes you to the start of the dungeon. Okay. That's how I should expect it to be because that's how it is in most 2D Zeldas. But, you know. So far, it has been just taking me to the start of a room, so I wasn't sure. Man, these guys do a lot of damage. Ouch. Ouch. 
Am I that bad at this game, guys? I also only have three hearts right now, to be fair. Everything could kill me in a snap. There we go. And... Boom. And boom. And... Compass! This game's a lot like A Link to the Past, for obvious reasons. This was the last 2D Zelda before 3D Zelda existed. So that's interesting. This was the last one that fit this like specific Zelda formula that had been invented from one and onward. Um, and I do prefer the latter Zelda formula, the 3D Zelda formula to the 2D one. So, you know, excited to get to the 3D games. But also excited to be playing this one for the first time because I played all the other games I've played on the channel so far at, at least once before in my life. Well, this is a first, as I've said a million times now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give me the money. Alright, scully guy. Die, die. He is dead, dead. Okay, cool. At last you got the map! We just got here! What do you mean at last? What was that? A one-way door? Kinda hope not. Ooh. What was that bopping music? Did you hear that? It stopped, but it happened for like a second. Just dun 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 dun! Ouch. What even are these things? I don't know what these things are. I don't know what that was. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, get off me, get off me, get off me. What's over here? We never went over here. Did we? I feel like we were in a room very similar to this, but not the same. Like a lot of keys in it. Yeah, definitely wasn't in that room. Little tiny versions of the boss from A Link to the Past. Weird. What are they called? Mold orms? Joy. <laughs> nice. I mean, 20 rupees is good at this state, actually. At this stage in the game. Oh. Why did I just do that again? Like it was gonna have a different result. That's okay. I need a key from over here, I think. Die. Come on. Die, dude. Thank you. Alright, what's in here? Right, this is where I died before. He dead? Okay, cool. Now I got this room where we died before. I got one made into a diamond. Do I have to get the others made into diamonds now? I don't fully understand the idea here. Dude, dude, it says, This owl statue is trying to say something, but you can't understand it because it has no beak. I think we need to get the owl statue's beak first. So let's explore the rest of the dungeon before we go back there. Oh, there's a chest right here. With a key in it, okay. That changes things. What's north? Things we can't reach, gotcha. But if we go up here this time, we can actually use the door. That we never made it to in the first place. But we did now! Oh god, get off. I hate the little guys that cling on to you like that. I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world, I suppose, but... Still don't like them. This owl statue is trying to say something, but you can't understand it because it has no beak. Wait a second. Magic powder it? 
No, it just reads. It's just reading, okay. Hmm. What do we do here then? Uh, how do I... That's not a dungeon map. So helpful that map is, thanks. Hello, Reop. Always a great response to whatever's happening here <laughs> right now. This is my first time playing this game, big Zelda fan. Uh, just kind of trying to make my way through this dungeon. I did get a key up there, right? I don't know. I don't see key on my inventory or anything, so I don't think so. I think I already used that key. Oh! This is where I had to go. Duh! We're good. Uh, oh cool, I can block him. Okay, just block him in. That works! I would have helped, but spoilers, yeah. No, I appreciate it. I'm on my own, yep. If I ever get that stuck, there's always walkthroughs, but I don't plan to use those unless I absolutely have to. Wait a minute, why am I coming back down here? What was stopping me from going up this way? It was just a jump thing, right? Like a little gap? Just like over here. How am I supposed to get up there? Hmm. No, I've been in here. Oh, dang it. Alright, let's, let's do a little look over on this place. I see the bombable wall, but we don't have bombs, so I mean... Ow, why did I do that? That's why. I knew it. But I mean, what do I do with this? <laughs> Is this just to keep me safe? I think it might just be to keep me safe. Wait a minute. Wait, what? That door shuts when I step here. Huh. Let me try something. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Okay, come on, come on, just let me through. No, okay, it closed even up here. Another owl statue without a beak, yeah, I know. Hmm. Do these guys push? Yep! Cool. Uh-oh. I figured it out. Alright. That guy totally could have killed me. I got really lucky I figured that one out. I know that one doesn't have a beak either. It just got really hot in my room all of a sudden. Are those Goombas? I swear I've seen this image before. But I forgot that this was a thing. Why are there Goombas? Alright, I'm done asking questions. I have a feeling if I just walk over there, I'm gonna fall. Alright. I think we're gonna get the item soon. It looks like it. Is that just floating health? Give it to me. G give me that! I want it! <laughs> Why won't it let me have it? Okay. Thought you were gonna get me. You got the rock's feather? It feels like your body is a lot lighter. Oh, that's how I'm gonna get through all these gaps, isn't it? It's like the jump thing, isn't it? Let me guess. Whoops, I didn't press the button. Whoop, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Yep. Oh, dude, that was full health, too. Awesome. Okay. You said be patient. Yeah. I mean, I guess I just had to wait, like, another second, really. Oops. Missed the jump. Well, that's going to open up a lot of stuff. So now I can go back to all these little jumps. 
Yep. Just like that. I should have not just walked forward like that, but oh well. I was even calling out how they were jumps. Okay, I need to have my sword equipped. I'm so not used to having to re-equip, like, weapons. That's very weird for a Zelda game. Why did it make it sound like I did something? Can I make that jump? I don't think I can make that jump, right? I didn't even try. Okay. Doesn't look like it. I'll come back and try if I get stuck again. But I know I can make it over here now. Yep. Boom. Oh wait, this is right up here! I'm stupid. Okay. And Nightmare's Key. That's definitely the boss key of this world, isn't it? Um... But where's the boss door? I don't remember seeing it. Then again, I don't know what it looks like in this game. I just walked right into that. Okay. You said, if this is my first playthrough, you're sure I love this game at the end? Also, I just got hit by that while reading your text. Oh, no. Oh, well. At least... Death isn't as punishing as in other Zelda games. Yeah, unfortunately, I do have a few spoilers because I'm such a big Zelda fan that, like, lore-wise, this game has been spoiled for me. But, gameplay-wise, I have barely seen anything. Um, do I just go back up here? Yeah, I'm assuming it's probably this way, right? Oh, yeah, look, there's a jump right there. That's gonna lead to the boss door. Oh yeah, it's even on the map. My jump didn't work. Okay, do it this time. Good. Oh wait, this is the boss room. Okay. I should have figured I would need the item. Oh, this is going to be annoying having to... I can see how this was a good game to make on the Switch now, actually. Now that I see how the item system works. Just have the items on your little d-pad, you just press the button. That sounds so much better. I, I'm... I didn't know there was quality of life difference like that. Alright, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Three hearts is rough, but, you know, what you gonna do? Alright, let's try this again. So wait for him to come over here, right? Hop it. Yeah, then he's gonna hop over. Pull out the sword. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Going back around. Feather. Jump. Oh, I'm bad at... I'm bad at jumping. <laughs> the only other Zelda game I've ever jumped in is Breath of the Wild, okay? It's very weird to me. Alright, I'm about to die, but... I didn't know that was the hit that killed me. <laughs> Dang it! At least this dungeon is honestly tiny, so I can just, like, get back very quickly. I think they did that intentionally because they knew you would have, like, no health, and if you died, it would be really annoying to backtrack. I'm being chased. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, cool. I did it. <laughs> Thought I was gonna get hit by that thing. Alright. I just jump into it. Okay. I gotta learn these hitboxes. Hit him. Hit him. Patience. Patience is key. Except for the times when he's about to jump into me, like right now. Then it doesn't matter how patient I am. I have a feeling he's like a five hitter, right? Five or six, maybe seven. Oh. Most bosses are five or three in Zelda, so... Oh, it wasn't five! It wasn't five! I'm doing better this time, though. Okay. Uh, sword? Come on! He's moving way faster, I think, isn't he? Or am I just being... I don't know. Tweaking. <laughs> Come on! He ran away! Ow! <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> May you just su suggest something? Sure! 
three deaths in, I think that's a good time for it. <laughs> for now, I'm gonna make my way back regardless. You're not using your shield? Oh! Jump and sword. Hmm. Interesting, you're right. I didn't think about that. Okay. That's actually a good combo, you're right. It's also a lot less annoying, probably. I'm not used to having to have, like, two item slots in Zelda. That's weird. It's kind of a cool mechanic, though. It's a really good way to make use of the limited amount of buttons that the Game Boy had at the time. Alright, yeah, this is going way better now. But I took more damage that time, so I still died. <laughs> but I think we got this now. Now that I have the jump sword. That was definitely a good suggestion. Thank you very much. I'd have been here all day just because I didn't even think about putting something besides my shield on that slot. Should have figured if I could change my sword slot, I could change my shield slot. I kind of just thought one was a item slot and one was my sword. Or my shield, I mean. But... I'm glad that's not that way, because that would be bad. Just stay in the corner! Yeah! I bullied him! I bullied him! <laughs> oh, that was so much easier. Wow. What the heck? Um, I'm kind of scared to touch that until I go up here, but I, I don't know which one's going to make me progress. I I'm just going to ask you straight up this time. Do which one do I do first? Because I don't want to have to walk back in through the dungeon. Is this going to teleport me outside, or... Uh... Maybe I'll go up? To warp to entrance? Okay, so yeah, go up first. Is that a boss door? What? Was he not a boss? Uh... What is this? Oh, he was the mini boss. Oh, so this is the first Zelda game to introduce mini bosses. I didn't know that this game had mini bosses. That's awesome. That's actually awesome. Oh no! It's this guy. My least favorite Link to the Past boss because he's just throwing you off a cliff every time. Why am I never careful with spikes? <laughs> oh, yo, okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. I didn't know that's what that was. That's awesome. I just walk into it again. All right, I got this. Uh, do I got this? Uh, uh, I'm very bad at the Moldorm fight in Link to the Past, and this is basically the Moldorm fight. Matter of fact, it's the Moldorm fight in a smaller arena, so. Oh. Can I jump over this? No? Okay. Alright, try it again. Uh, no, 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 no! Ah. Uh, this is gonna be a second. This is a bad boss to lead the game with, to be honest, if you ask me. But, I get it. It's echoing Link to the Past so that Link to the Past fans can be like, Oh, look, it's Moldorm. Even though Link to the Past fans didn't generally know the name of the bosses. Unless you were a super fan. These bosses do not die very quick, and I have no health. Alright. Try it again. Honestly, lots of spam attacks in this one. Three down? Come on. That was it? How come I keep dying over and over again to these bosses and then walking in and not taking damage on the actual attempt? That's weird. Alright, I mean, I'll take it though. Alright. Instruments. Weird collectible, but I know we're trying to wake the fish, so we need music, I guess. You've got the full moon cello. You say it gets better? I'm sure. 
I hope so. Because uh, that was not my favorite boss in A Link to the Past, and it was pretty much the same, so. But, you know, it... only the first boss, and if it's got many bosses, that means there's two times as many bosses, so. This game will convert me at the end. <laughs> I don't know if I would say I need converting. I still like it so far, it's just not my favorite so far. But I'm also, I lean more towards 3D Zeldas in general, personally. Hoot! That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. What? <laughs> what? You mean, you mean the instrument, not me, right? I read that wrong, right? <laughs> There's seven others in the set that have the power to wake the wild, windfish. Not wildfish. Gotta collect them all, yep. Giving me my instructions, go north to the Gapango Swamp. Hoot, indeed! <laughs> That's a good sign-off. I should use that as my sign-off. Hoot, indeed. As always, remember, hoot, indeed. Alright. I'm not gonna go straight. Hey, buddy, it's serious! Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The mo- Oh, what? The village being attacked? By a whole ring of moblins? It's for real, they all went to the house. Yeah, that house. That house. You know the house. They did something to the Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the Mamabalins. I mean, ah! I'm sorry. Yeah, so they're telling me to go up there and find out fast for myself. Gotcha. Is this house right? Um, there's drastic music, but nothing's happening in here. Ay, it's terrible. My Bow Wow is dog-napped by my Mamoblins. Oh, ah, please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Is Bow Wow the name, or is that, like... Is, is it the dog's name? The dog's name? Or is it, like, the name of the species in this? I am confused by that. You say yes, it is the dog's name? Okay. So they're just- are they still Chain Chomps then? Like, what do they call them in Zelda? Hmm... Wait, can I just jump over these? No, I still have to pick them up. Okay. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Yeah, I know. Ah, my face itches. Oh, right. Yeah, still locked over here. Okay, so I have to find the Bow Wow that was kidnapped by Moblins. The Moblins tend to be in the forest where I first went, right? So... What about the doghouse? I mean, he seems like he's still in there, I don't know. Just the one outside got kidnapped. They only took two- one out of the three, I guess. It's kind of weird, but alright. And yeah, I'm probably gonna leave the shield off, because I... am always gonna forget to use it, to be honest. Let's see. Moblins, do you have the, the person I'm looking for out here? I'm just gonna kind of run past them. I could jump over there, but... What's up here, anyway? Things I haven't seen yet. Well, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Really creative name you got there. I'll be called Reed now. Actually, that's a real name. Just gonna officially change my name to Reed because I like to read. Why not? Oh, oh, no, please. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Can I just, yeah, okay. I thought that was like gonna be a full wall for a second there. Whoop, didn't mean to go through there. Really? <laughs> there we go. Oh wait, I still can't get to that. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, what's down here then? Moblin. And, uh... I don't remember what these things are called, to be honest. 
I'm a big Zelda fan, but the weird little floaty butthole guys are not the most memorable enemies in my opinion. Alright, going to the right over here, there was definitely more to see, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, but is this where we want to go? It did say only Bow Wow's allowed, right? And it said to, we had to go to the swamp. And this is the swamp. This is where we're expected to go. Okay. What is this gyrating plant? Okay. Yep, it's, it's, it's bad things. That's what it is. Oh, no. Um, wait. I can't jump over those guys. They're just hurting me. I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. How do I get through there? Can't jump over. Can't, like, swim. At least not right now. If it's even a thing at all. Oh. I had no idea when that thing was going to shoot, and I was waiting for the little shark guy to run. Alright, I need to stop running into things is what I need to do. What the hell? Okay. Over to the other side. Get a heart. Cool. Try that again. I'm pretty sure this is the right way to go, but we might need something else. And I'm sure there's some side stuff we could do, but I don't really know where, so we'll explore that whenever. Can I not just attack this? Can I, like, use the magic powder on him? No. Can't jump over, right? Nope. I have no idea what it expects me to do here, but we'll figure it out. Hmm. Down here, maybe? No, that's another tiny thing. Not getting through there. Was there anything on this... <sighs> okay. I think we need something to get through that swamp. Much like we did last time to get to the last area. That's probably going to be a repeated thing in this game. So... <laughs> I think so too. Yeah. That confirms my thought. <laughs> oh no. I, why am I so bad at jumping? There we go. Oh wait, there was this side, wasn't there? I almost forgot about it over here. I'm almost certain there was somewhere to jump over here, but I could be wrong. Oh wait, yeah, there was that piece of heart. We gotta get that. Heck yeah! Halfway to another heart. Oh wait, and we can go north from here. There we go. Oh, and this is down here. Okay. What, what is this? Is the windfish in name only, for it is neither. Random cat rock. And uh, who is this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's. I didn't get to actually properly read the last thing he said. I think these are the moblins that took the dog, right? This is where I'm supposed to be? Yeah, definitely. Oh, let's get rid of them? Gotcha. Oh. Alright. What is that? You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You come here to get me, but it is I who will get you. What is this plot right now? Oh, okay, I have to wait for him to hurt himself, gotcha. This is pretty straightforward, especially since he only throws in a line, apparently. He doesn't throw vertically, that's really not helping his case here, at fighting. That is a weird piece of uh, monster design for Zelda, though. I don't know why, but this game feels like half of it is like very Mario-esque monster designs, or literally Mario enemies. We save Bow Wow, what a fearsome beast. Oh, we have to actually drag him back. Okay. 
Works for me. Never thought I'd see Link dragging a chain chomp around, but you know what? <laughs> I guess it's canon. Alright, head back down here. I guess it's a good thing that he can apparently float, because... Wait a minute, is there a faster way to town? I'm sure there is, right? I mean, probably, but... Oh, wait! This isn't going to lead to town, is it? What is that? What was that? This is a graveyard. I think I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to go back. Oh, come on. I know I can't lift it with my bare hands. Okay, I get it. There we go. Let's go back. Alright. Oh. Oh, yo, I can... He, he hurts my enemies. Okay, that's awesome. I don't ever want to get rid of you. But I know I have to, which is sad. <laughs> Imagine how OP it would be to just have him for the whole game, though. Just like a little pet, basically. Makes me question why Link doesn't get a chain chomp for this game. Believe it or not, he can actually eat cutscenes? What do you mean he can eat cutscenes? <laughs> you get- you use him a lot in speedruns? That makes sense, if he can eat cutscenes. I mean, what? Why am I going this way? I got distracted by reading chat and went the wrong way. Oops. can literally eat cutscenes. That's... I, I can't even picture what that looks like. I have to look that up later. I'm kind of interested in what speedruns on this game look like now that I know that. Is it still that way in uh, the remake? Or did they patch that out? Do I just put you in here? Woof! Dig! Woof! No, I don't just put you in there. Do I have to give you to your owner then? Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you brought my baby back. Now, would you be a deer and take him for a walk? It would really help me out a lot. You will? Thanks. I, I have to take him for a walk? What is this plot? <laughs> I've only played Remake twice, and Bow Wow is not required at all in Remake speedruns. Ah, gotcha. I'm not sure what LADX is, to be honest. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. That's what we're playing right now. Duh. That was... <laughs> goof moment right there. I know. I know I can't lift it with my bare hands. Alright, don't touch those rocks. Those are the... Dude, those rocks must eat speedrun time if you touch them. <laughs> okay. Where am I actually going right now? She wants me to take him for a walk, but... Uh, do you want me to take him for a walk through the swamp? Because that's where I'm going. <laughs> oh, well. Bow Wow can handle himself. He eats cutscenes. We're good. <laughs> he has godlike powers. He should be fine. Alright, back to the Moblin Woods. Um, okay, there that Good. Still don't know what that does, but cool. Oh, that's what that does. Holy crap. Just everything explodes. I'm still not really sure where I'm going, but I'm just kind of looking around at this point. I should probably use my map. Wait a minute. 
I know where I'm going. You need to get ready for work, but you'll join again from work. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You just stopping by at all? I may or may not be done streaming by the time you're at work, actually, because I have work in the morning and have to go to bed, but I appreciate you. Also, thank you so much for the follow, Riop. Hopefully I can catch you again for another Zelda-thon if I'm not streaming when you get back. I plan to be streaming at least an hour every day, so at least till uh, Breath of the Wild comes out, so hopefully catch you again another day. Okay, yep, that's in there. Oh wait, we got another one of these things. Music! The fish stars in the egg! You are there. <laughs> I am where? I don't know what that means. Cryptic cat statues? Uh oh. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yo! I know exactly what to do. He'll eat the plants! Do it! Eat the plant! Do it! Get it! Yes, it worked! <laughs> I thought for a second I was wrong, but I was right. Oh, yes, I'm so happy I figured that out. You know, there's something about playing a Zelda game for the first time, the dopamine you get from figuring things out on your own. Oh, this is the second dungeon! Like, already! There was a chest down there, though, I want to get before we go. Wait, so this Chain Chomp is just an item we keep? At least for a temporary amount of time? What is this now? A Guardian Acorn? What is... What are all these weird power-ups? That's very unique to this game. I've never seen that in Zelda before. Come on, Chain Chomp. Bow Wow, I need you to do it! Bow Wow Boy. You did it. Good. Oh, he eats them, too! He eats everything! Actual godlike abilities over here. 50 rupees. Very nice. Alright. Time to go up and do this dungeon. That's crazy. This game must be kind of short. Which is going to be sad, because I'll get through it kind of quick. But you know what? That's okay. Uh... It's dark. I'm not able to lift things with my bare hands. I can't break anything. I can't do anything to get by. I don't think I can be here yet. That's interesting. What do I need to do to be there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lifty rock. I think I need to get whatever I need to start power lifting <laughs> all these rocks up. Come on, eat this! Eat this, Bow Wow! Wrong thing, Bow Wow, come on. What did I take damage to? Thank you. Get it out of my way, Bow Wow, before it burns me. Alright. So if we can't go through there until we get something to get, um... Words are escaping me right now, to be honest. My brain just completely blanked while talking. What was I trying to say? That we need something to get... Oh wait, there's a chest right there! How did I not see this before? I am pressing the jump button over and over again. There we go. Money! Good. Money's always good, I suppose. There's nothing else here, though, huh? Dang. That does suck. Wait, 
Wait, we can go up? Oh wait, there's nothing up here, right? Wait, unless Bow Wow can eat this. Hmm. Bow Wow does not seem to be able to eat that. I don't know where Bow Wow can eat and where he can't, okay? It's kind of confusing to me. Uh-oh. Got a guardian acorn, it will reduce the damage you take by half. Alright, you know what? Use the call button. What has he got to say to us if we call him up? Bring, bring, yes, this is Olrira, the indigestible flowers of Gopanga Swamp. Those flowers are Bow Wow's favorite. Why don't you take him for a walk there? I already figured that part out, okay? I just have to figure out how to actually use the inside of the place. Also, calling them indigestible, as if I'm ever gonna try to eat them, like, ew. I don't want those. Alright, let us in, Bow Wow. Get us in, Bow Wow, thank you. Ow. We have no way to get to that chest without lifting things. That room closes the moment I come in. We don't have a key. And... Oh, magic powder does turn these on! I didn't think it would, but it did, so I guess I'm just wrong. I'm glad to be wrong though, we get to actually keep going. Is that a shy guy now, really? How am I supposed to manage this? Another one where we need a shield for him? Oh, he's the version of... I understand. He's just like the guys from A Link to the Past. Except we don't have a bow yet, so we had to do it that way. Interesting. You've got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and Nightmare are hidden. Yep, we know what the compass is. This is definitely going to be the dungeon where we get the thing to lift stuff. Oop. I couldn't see my screen for a second there. I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom soon, but I'm also gonna be ending the stream relatively soon, so... Let's see, we can go down here. Can we hit that through here? Yeah, we can, cool. Oh, I was gonna get the chest first. I knew he was gonna get me though. Okay. So we come up here, we use our magic powder. Oh man. The bathroom is attacking me now. Like if I wasn't gonna be going off stream after probably this dungeon, I would be immediately going to the bathroom. Because it's kind of bad. <laughs> they say you shouldn't hold it, but here I am. Probably not a good thing. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about toiletries while playing now. Because that doesn't sound fun. So we'll come down here. We'll do this. Hit this. It's not a shy guy. It's just... I don't know what it is, but we killed it. Got another key. Awesome. We get to continue. What's through here? Stop. Oh. Be careful not to fall. Interesting. Interesting. Another key. And then we just jump over here, right? Up here? Yep. Oh, we got these guys. Okay. So these guys we killed by doing this, right? Yeah. And then we got that over there. And can we just push this? No. And we can't jump either. We have to go around. We need our shield out. There we go.
Got him. All right. I need to switch those. There we go. No, oh, I know I can't lift it with my hands. Ouch. Come on, let me out. Hello, Chantler. Oh, no, it went in there. This is my first time ever playing Link's Awakening. Ever. I've never played it before. We're on the second dungeon. We beat Link to the Past during the 24 hour live stream. It was pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I'm having a little bit more fun with this one though because this is all new to me. It's, it's wild to be playing a new Zelda game that's not new, you know? Because I've played most Zelda games. All right. I don't think I even needed to come all the way back down here, but that's okay. Come over here. Oh, wrong button. And up here. Oh. It's a pretty fire game. I almost beat it, but gave up. Damn. Does it get hard or something? A lot of the 2D ones do, actually, to be fair. Link to the Past gets pretty hard. Alright. Well, you can be sure as hell I'm gonna beat it. And if I don't. If, if I, uh. If, I'm gonna beat it, if not complete it, is what I'm trying to say. Because. Zelda Thon, that's the whole idea. Alright. Is that right? Yeah, that's definitely right. Not even, just got bored. Aw, oh, damn. I mean, yeah, that's why you can't really take, like, big breaks from a lot of games a lot of the time, because you'll just get bored of them, and then you'll, like, never finish them. There's so many games I've done that with. Zelda, I don't think I can do that to, though. I, I start playing a Zelda game. I think the only Zelda game I've ever dropped is Spirit Tracks, and it's not even because I didn't enjoy it. It's just because I didn't play it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know why. Okay, I gotta pull the powder back out. And then I wanna grab that health thing before we go. There we go. And boom. Oh, it's the boss! It's the mini boss! Before we even get the item, the mini boss is here? Interesting. Ouch! Oh, what the hell? What the hell? That's not a good move. I don't like that. I mean, it's cool, but it hurts. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a death. <laughs> Alright, back to the mini balls we go. Do I have a key? I do. I might be able to just go through over here, see what's over here. Oof. It tried. Almost snatched me like that. Uh, really? Dude literally hit you with a three-piece combo. Dude, yeah. It feels like no matter how I die in these games, it's always something like that, to be honest. You found a stone beak? Oh, it's for the owl statues. is not nearly as annoying as it was in A Link to the Past, though. This game took a lot of things about A Link to the Past and improved upon them, and I like that. I expected it to be lesser, because it was a Game Boy game, but it feels like they did take a lot of things and improve. After all, it is its sequel. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the blue crystal. I knew this game. I didn't need your input for this. Did I not get that key ever? 
certain I did, right? Now I'm concerned. Ouch. Come down here, press the button, come up here. Do the thing. And then it spawns, okay. So I didn't get it then. I gotta go around down here, don't I? Yep, I see. Oh, right. Got it. That was gonna screw me over later anyway, so I'm glad I got that. At least it probably was. I mean, they don't make- they don't give you useless keys in Zelda, usually. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh, no, jump, 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 game! That's wild, man! Go through. Boss time. Just corner spam. We got him. What Zelda games you gonna cover? The idea of Zelda-thon basically comes down to... From now, all the way until Breath of the Wild, I am trying to hit that goal in the top left corner so that I can get Breath of the, or not Breath of the Wild, sorry, Tears of the Kingdom, so that I can get Tears of the Kingdom and a Switch to play Tears of the Kingdom. And during the every day, from this point forward, at least an hour every day streams of Zelda-thon, we, uh, we're gonna try to get through literally just as many as we can. As many as we can. And we're going pretty much in order of release. I think I might have to skip a couple games here and there. Like, fucking, what's that one? Um, the fashion one? Triforce Heroes, is that what it's called? I don't remember, but... I'm gonna get to them eventually on the channel. If, whether that's after or before Zeldathon, but yeah. My 24 hours is at 100? Damn. Nice. That's better than it was when it released. So, I guess people have been watching it on... As a VOD, I don't know who sits there and watches 24-hour VODs, but good to you, I guess. Appreciate you. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> My bad. Don't know what I did there. And I unfortunately know what game you're talking about. Oh, you noticed my next 24-hour stream is at 100 subs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cuz uh 25 was too low of a number <laughs> it's just uh, it's that simple I had like very little viewer engagement during that entire 24-hour stream and that felt like a long time to just not have anybody around I've had literally almost more in engagement already in this stream than I had in that 24-hour stream and this stream's been like two hours what is going on Nothing good, I can tell you that much. We got the map. Okay, cool. Can I get out of here? I don't like this. I don't like that thing. You just saw that the fun goal 31 isn't bad so far. Yeah, actually, 31 isn't even where I'm currently at. It is literally, that fun goal isn't just donations, it's literally my money. That's literally the money I have for the game system that I'm saving up right now. And it's, I actually haven't updated it. It should be at 70 right now. That's the real goal right now. The real number 70. I just forgot to update it during the stream, to be honest. Like, I was going to update it right before the stream started, but just blanked. No big donators yet, just my own money so far. Um, I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Oh, because I just got the glove. I have to equip it? That's wild.
Okay, that's weird controls. It took me a second to get used to. Why is everything equipable in this game? That's kind of weird. Not a big fan of that. That it's got like this convoluted inventory system. But you know what it is, what it is. Okay, I see the idea. I think I see the idea. Yeah, I do. Now I jump over. Grab this. Take this. Wait, yo, I can throw it over there? That's actually nice. I didn't know I could do that. Not that I even had to go down there in the first place, but you know what? It worked. Everything worked out. <laughs> Ouch. Kill the keys. Slow fall. I don't really get the context, but all right. <laughs> oh wait, I did fall pretty slow there, didn't I actually? No, you're right. That was a pretty slow fall. These guys aren't taking any damage. Do I have to throw, like, things at them? I do. I don't know why these guys only take damage to random pots, but alright. I feel like these are bound to give me health, but I also don't want to waste my time looking, so... All right, down I go, I guess. Can I just walk by it? I can, cool, okay. What? Why is he angry? What does that mean? I think I figured it out. Yep. Alright, here's the boss. Cool. After I beat this, we're probably going to be calling it a stream because I've been going like two hours and I got work tomorrow, so. But tomorrow I will have at least an hour of. Oh, wait, I don't have the boss key yet? I thought I did. Well, damn. Okay, so we're coming back. But yeah, tomorrow we'll have at least an hour for a Zeldathon. Maybe more. Depends on my schedule and everything. I'm actually working at a local gas station in the area, Chandler. I, I won't name names just because stream, but um, you know the ones. Right there down by the street by my house. Same place my mom works. Yeah, I don't have it too early in the morning, but I got a bunch of other YouTube and uh, other thing related stuff I got to do tomorrow at like 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, it is all under the table currently. But it pays decent and like I trust the bosses, so we're all good. Piranha plants now? <laughs> This game is just Zelda, the Mario game. I'm not even kidding. This is literally a Mario level. What the hell? Oh yeah, Switch Goal is definitely possible. And Goomba, yeah. Uh, 
I guess I have to go here? Because I don't have the boss key yet? Wait a minute. Okay, good. I was going to say, if the boss key was in the first room. Imagine. Where is it? I thought we had the map. How the heck is this map supposed to work? What a good dungeon map we've got. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is! Alright, so we have to go up and around, it looks like. Ouch. Wait a minute. I don't remember how we get up there. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to actually use the portal back. I might have to go back to the beginning. Hey! All right. You know what? It works. It works. We were going there anyway. Let me just use this, see where it takes us, because... Wrong button, man. Okay, so yeah, we just go this way. The key is still connected to us. I know we weren't able to lift it with our bare hands. Stop telling us that. We already have the item to stop trying, and you still tell us constantly that we're not able to lift things with our bare hands. I swear this game's just trying to tell me, yo, you're weak, bro. Get strong. Did you use the owl beak? Yeah, I did. It just seems to be advice though, doesn't it? And I mean, that'd be useful if I was like really stuck, but... I just needed to know where the thing was. Oh. Pick it up. Go. There we go. Alright, down here. Oh. Oh, this is the part I did wrong, isn't it? Okay. Makes sense. So we go boom, boom, and boom. Bruh. Don't know why I put so much work into not dying there, only to die there. Okay, so wait, to the right? Wrong button again. No, not to the right, to the bottom. It says the key is in here. I'm sorry? The boss key is in here? Anybody want to tell me how that's the case? Uh... I don't think what I just did was the correct answer. You were supposed to pull it to the right? Or left, you said? Okay. What, like this one? Or this one? I don't think pulling works at all. Am I supposed to do like this? Because there's still no, like, boss key there. Well, what am I missing, then? Mm -hmm. 
What am I missing here? Hmm. Magic? No, I don't need a sprinkle of no pixie dust. What am I missing? That's confusing to be honest. This feels like the solution, but it didn't solve anything. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go out and back in and try this again. Maybe like this? I don't understand. Like at all. That's definitely the boss room. Maybe down here is what it's talking about? I mean, not the boss room. The boss key area. I can try down here. Down here just takes me here. I guess I'll try using the owl beak down here again. First, defeat the imprisoned Paul's voice, last Stalfos. Wait, really? That's why you told me to use the beak. God damn it. So it wasn't supposed to be obvious. It was just something I was supposed to read and understand. I understand now. Now it makes sense. I was just fighting the enemies in the wrong order. Which is kind of a wild thing to have wrong. But you know what? It works. Get out of here, dude. Bro, I want to get out of this. Come on. Go down. I was very hesitant to take a risky jump just because I was so low on health. Alright. I see the struggle now. Because I have to hide from this guy. Uh-oh. Bruh. Bring me back. All right. Now. Hey! You love the game over music? Yeah, me too, actually. it's The music in this game is way better than I expected it to be. Like, Zelda's always got good music, but I expected Game Boy to be one of the weaker ones. But no. No, it's still great. Come on. There we go. And 
wham, and wham, and wham. Wham, and wham, and wham, and wham, and wham. Whatever works. And now we literally just go boop, boop. We come over here, we grab this. We hit this guy first, and then we kill this guy. That, according to that thing, that's all we had to do, right? It lied! It said, kill the imprisoned one. And then, the other one. I did. Bro, this guy won't get out of my way. Try killing the bat first, I guess. What the hell, bro? What am I doing wrong? Do I have to kill them all with pots or something? I'm getting mad. What am I doing wrong here? Hmm. Doing exactly what the game told me to do. Alright. No! Bro. Bro? Let me get through! My man's is camping! said try the bunny money and then the keys I did try that first but it didn't work for some reason I'll try it this time it's definitely the enemy order that sign even says so in this room I mean the, the owl thing might as well be a sign let's be honest style folks last yeah wait oh my god you're right it's just not saying where the keys go. The keys have to be the middle. Duh. I'm just using the wrong order over and over and over again. All right, I got this this time. I'm confident. All right, we go through. Get out of my way. Bro. Bro, really? Just, just die. I could use any health in this room. No? Okay. I get none, I guess. All right, bunny first, huh? It's definitely bunny first, style post last, which means keys has to be in the middle. You're right. I swear I tried this though. It worked! That is such a bad way to get a boss key, to be honest. It's clever, but like. convoluted. Especially for a game that was on Game Boy that only children really played a lot at the time. At the time. Now I'm sure plenty of adults play this because this was their childhood. What? Did I go the wrong way? I think I did. Take me back. I just realized I could have been using this path the entire time to get back instead of that weird convoluted long path I've been taking. Why have I been... 
I'm so stupid. Sometimes, guys. Alright. So it's just up and to the right now, right? Dude, you're right. I am really low on hearts. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Hello, Epic X-Ray. Welcome to the stream. We are doing our best to make it through the second dungeon before I'm going to call it for the night. Oh. And dying to basic enemies all the time because I'm new and bad. Not new to Zelda. Love Zelda. Just new to this Zelda. But yeah, welcome to Zeldathon. This is going to be a daily stream for at least an hour every day until uh, the new Zelda comes out in May. And uh, I'm basically trying to get through as many Zelda games as I can during that time. This one is one of the few Zelda games I've never played before, so. Welcome to a first time experience. All right, we're about to get to the boss, so unfortunately the stream's gonna be ending real soon, but I'm glad you we're here for at least a second. Thank you for stopping by. We're not shutting down just yet though, so don't, you don't have to take off unless you need to. We uh, just are going to very soon. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Appreciate it so much. You have a great day now. I appreciate it. Hope I can catch you when there's more time on another stream, because this one's almost over already. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, at least an hour every day, so if you want to come back for another Zelda Zeldathon stream. That's when it'll be happening. Um Yeah. Just come down here, grab this, come up here, down here, up. I did not just soft lock myself. No, I didn't. Good. Thought I just soft lock myself because I was a dummy and threw that. I'm sure I will only if my wife has no better plans. I feel that. I understand that. But hey, I appreciate it. Regardless of what you do, anytime you're here is appreciated, so. Um. Yeah, actually, I'm doing the Zeldathon thing because my girl's actually out of town, so it's like the perfect time to be streaming every day. I'm your bad guy this time, ho ho ho. He says like he's Santa Claus. All right, I'm sure I'm gonna need this, right? Nya nya, you can't hurt me as long as I have my brother. Oh, that's sad. Uh, it's dependent on this guy. What am I supposed to do here? Just wait, probably. Oh. I can't move, but I am still all right. Your little sword won't break this bottle. No. I could throw you around, though. Okay, so I have to stop him with my sword and then toss him. But what do I toss him into? Oh, he can't, t he can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. I thought he said brother. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you got a weird ghost brother, I see. All right, smash him against the wall, yep. All right, so it's a very repeated process, I see. Come on, keep throwing your fireballs, goofy clown man. Luckily, it seems I didn't need to come into this fight with too many hearts, because what's he gonna do? Fireball me to death? Pick up the bottle? Yeah, I've been picking up the bottle and throwing it. It's just only doing so much. There he goes. Wow, you broke my bottle! Why, you... You make me hopping mad! 
Oh, yo! You're gonna throw another fireball at me. No way! Okay. That's sad. Now that I know how to fight that boss, though, this will be easy. I also didn't go in there with full health, to be fair. What? <laughs> Bruh is right, though. I can't believe I died there, to be honest. What am I saying? Of course I can. <laughs> I'm bad at this game. I just left that rupee behind because I'm so used to having full rupees in A Link to the Past, but I don't have full rupees anymore, so I need to not be leaving rupees behind. Oh no! <laughs> Stop giving me that message! Okay. Gauntlet. Ouch. Kill the... Oh, dude. Alright. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. Kill the bunny too in case he drops a heart. He did not. Dang. Going back without full life again. But you know what? That boss seems easy enough that we can probably win without full life. I just didn't know what I was doing at first, so... But now that I know his attack patterns and stuff, this should be relatively easy. I was kind of worried that thing was going to fall on my head after I tossed it. Alright, here we go. Bring it on, man. Throw your fireballs, nya nya nya. Nya nya nya! Nya nya nya! Ouch. I wanted to see if I could even hurt him before being done throwing the bottle, but I should probably not mess around. Yes, I understand how to fight you. You don't need to announce this again. There we go. So I do that three times, I think it is. Three or four, and then he comes out and I have to kill him that way. Gotcha. Sounds like a pretty basic boss fight. Just gotta not die to random fire projectiles. Boom. They're not even random though. It's a really predictable pattern. Nya nya nya. Nya nya nya. Come on. And it gets the ball again. Broken bottle. You broke my bottle! Why you you make me up and mad? Okay. He's gonna throw a fireball and boom. And he's gonna throw another fireball and boom. And he's gonna throw another fireball and boom. And he's gonna throw another fireball and boom. It's just a repeated process. Ow. Those fireballs do a lot of damage though. A whole heart. close we were both one tap but I got him which is good because I've been having to go to the bathroom for a while <laughs> all right our second instrument hooray you've got the conch horn that's that's a choice couldn't be a drum or a guitar a conch horn that's definitely a choice I want to hear what a, I mean, I heard a conch horn just now, but I want to hear like a real conch horn. Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting. Oh, prairie, as in like, fields. All right, I think that's where we're going to call it on this one. Uh, that's a good place to g call it GG's for this one, like Chandler just said. Um, I definitely will be back tomorrow for an hour or more of some more Link's Awakening. Um... And yeah, when we beat Link's Awakening, we'll be moving on to Ocarina. Uh, for now, this is probably going to be the end of the stream tonight. So thank you guys very much for joining me today. As I say usually in my videos, I'm going to end this the same way I normally do. As always, remember, everything changes.